Hello and welcome to your 39th Django tutorial. Today's tutorial we're going to build a delete view to allow us to delete our newsletters. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up your text editor. Uh, let's go to the views.py down below our, um, what is it, our edit. Let's go ahead and create a new view down here. And this one we're just going to call control underscore newsletter delete. All right. And it's going to basically look like our edit just with some modifications. So let's go ahead and do a, a define the function. We're going to say control underscore newsletter underscore delete. And we're going to pass request and primary key. All right. Now we're going to use uh, get for uh, get object or 404. So it's going to be newsletter variable to represent that. We'll use get object 404 and then we're going to pass uh, newsletter model and then primary key is equal to primary key so we have seen all this before all right now we're going to do the same thing um, we have done with edit uh, with the uh, if request dot method is equal to post um, we want to do that so when the person presses the delete button it deletes it so um, the post will allow us to do that so let's go ahead and do if Request dot method is equal equal to post all caps. Uh, we're gonna do something. So in here we're gonna say uh, we're gonna get our form, and we're gonna say newsletter creation form, and we're gonna pass request oops, request dot post. Um, let me get rid of this here. All right. And then we're just going to do an instance is equal to our newsletter. So we can display that content in our form. And then we're going to come down and say if form dot is valid. So is the CRS, see the cross site forgery registry thing valid. <laughs> Can't think of it off the top of my head right now. We're going to say newsletter dot delete all right and then we'll just return uh, uh, redirect we'll redirect somewhere uh, we'll say uh, control panel and we'll go to let's go to the list control underscore newsletter underscore list all right so that'll take us to our list um, if it is not post if the method is not post we just want to display the form so else and then we'll say form is equal to newsletter uh, newsletter creation form and then instance is equal to newsletter all right and we'll just come down and set up our context which is going to be equal to dictionary and it's going to say form <clears throat> and then our template, we'll just call it, uh, what will we call it? Control underscore panel forward slash control underscore newsletter underscore delete dot HTML. All right. And don't forget our return, return render request template uh, context just like that all right so there we go that's our view uh, it's pretty straightforward um, it's basically what we we're doing before so if the person presses the delete button which would cause a post um, HTTP uh, request so it'll be a post request we will delete the form all right if not we're just going to display the form okay so uh next thing we want to do is just let's go create a url and it's going to be a fairly simple url as well we'll up here throw our view in and we'll just say control underscore newsletter underscore delete and we'll copy this edit view Copy that. Oops, don't do that. Crap. Sorry. 
really hard when uh, I have to slide back and forth here. All right. C and then off that. Huh. I guess that works. No, it doesn't. Now I'm going to paste it in. There we go. Technical difficulties. All right, so we'll change this to uh, delete. And the view to delete. And the name to delete. Just like that. So there we go. Our URL set up. Uh, now the next thing we need to do is... Let me slide this over. we got to create a template. So, make these smaller, come down to our control panel templates, and we'll just create a new template. And we'll call this control underscore newsletter underscore delete dot HTML. All right. And just go to your edit. Uh, do I have it up here? Actually, no, we want we don't want to. Uh, we don't have an edit. We'll use newsletter. We're going to copy this here and paste that in here. <clears throat> and we're just going to change the button type to danger because we want it to be red because danger if you delete it. And we'll just uh, put delete here just like this all right in our list so in our list let's go ahead and create a link there so this would be a curly brace uh, percent symbol URL um, then control underscore panel colon control underscore newsletter underscore delete oops and then close out your quotes. PK is equal to item dot PK. Uh, percent symbol curly brace. Close out your quotes. And there you go. All right. So that's our delete link. Uh, also in, I believe, our detail, if I remember correctly, yes, we have a delete link there too. Or button, so we're gonna copy this edit because I don't feel like typing, and we're just gonna throw in an a tag here a a href, and we'll paste this um, link in there. We'll change this to delete, just like that, and then close out our a tag like that. Take this a cut that and we're gonna put it behind the button back here boom like that and save it now let's go ahead and make sure our servers are running and if we go up and go to newsletter list so we can just click on this link over here and click on delete and you'll see that we have our newsletter and then we got a little red button down here saying danger and then we'll click on it boom see a object so there you go that's how you delete it i guess we could like um actually re redirect to another um template that says hey uh you just delete this object uh if you want to do something like that but um that's up to you uh, but for now, we know how to delete an object, we know how to edit an object, we know how to create an object, we know how to display objects in a list. Whew, it's a lot. But anyway, um, in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and secure this so you guys can upload it. Um, and we'll start working on that. But basically, our newsletter is complete at this point. So, good work, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.